Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Android SQLite database tutorial with Android Studio. So in the previous episode we already learned about how to get all the information from the database. Now in this episode we are going to learn about how to retrieve a particular row from the database. So for get a particular row from the table we have to use some conditions with the SQL statement. So we have to use the WHERE clause. So here I am going to make a search with the user name. So when the user enter a particular name here and when he click the search button we have to display the mobile number and email corresponding to this name here using these text views. So here is the layout XML file. Here is the edit text with the ID search name and here is the button with on click method search contact. And here is the text view for displaying the email with id display email and here is the text view for displaying the mobile number with id display mobile okay so this is our target we have to display we have to get a particular email and mobile number for a particular user so we have to use a where condition with the sql statement so here is the java class file corresponding to this activity so here i already declare with two variables for text view display email and display mobile and here is an object of edit text with the variable name search name so on the on create method first i initialize the variable search name and here is the two text view objects initialization of the two text view objects and here is the on click method for the button okay so for getting a particular information from the database we have to define the needed methods on the user db helper class so open up the user db helper class we have to create another method for retrieving a particular row from the database so here i am going to define another method public void not void it will return a cursor object so public cursor get contact okay and here we are going to make the search using the name so we need an argument of a string argument that contain the username i name it as username of course we need the object of SQLite database so the second argument is the SQLite database okay so the first thing we have to make the projections here we need to get the mobile number and email corresponding to a name so here I am going to define the projections string projections equal to the first thing the mobile number so get the mobile number from the mobile corresponding column name from the contract class so new user info dot user mobile the second column name is the email so new user info dot user email so these are the projections okay now we have to define the condition the where clause so create another string variable I name it as selection so here we are going to make the selection with the username so we have to get the username column from the contract class dot username and here is the condition like put a question mark that's it so this is the where condition now we have to make the selection argument here the selection argument is get from this string argument from this parameter called the username so make another string array string selection ARGS selection arguments here only one argument is available which is username okay
Yeah, it is an array. Okay, now we have to get the particular row from the database. So we need to create an object of cursor because the data is in the form of a cursor object. So cursor equal to and use the SQLite database object. So SQLite database dot call the query method. First thing we have to define the table name. New user info dot table name. Second, we have to define the second argument is the projections. So use the projections. And the third argument is the condition. So here the condition is available on this string called the selection. So use that one. And the next argument is the selection argument. Here the selection argument is available on this variable called the selection ARGS. So use that one. And now another three arguments is there. Put null for the other three arguments. Okay. And finally, we have to return this cursor. Return cursor. Now we have to call this method from the search conduct activity. So whenever user click the search button, this method will invoke. So we have to define, we have to declare some objects. First, we need an object of user db helper. So user db helper, I name it as user db helper. Now we need an object of SQLite database. I name it as SQLite database. Okay, so for getting the username, I name it as another variable user uh, search name. Okay, so whenever user click the search button, first we have to get the information, get the username from the edit text. So search name equal to Yeah, this one, this is the edit text name. This capital search name dot get text. <coughs> Convert that one into string. Okay. Now we have to call the get contact method from the user db helper with this search name. So first thing we have to initialize the user db helper object. So user db helper equal to new user db helper and pass a context object, get application context. Now we have to initialize the SQLite database object. So SQLite database equal to user db helper dot get readable database. Okay, now we have to call that particular method. So for that, we need an object of cursor. So cursor equal to user db helper dot get contact and pass the username. Here it is search name. Now pass the SQLite database object. Okay. Now we have to get the information from the cursor object. So use an if loop if cursor dot move to first if it is written true that means there is an information is available on the cursor object so here only one row is available on the cursor object so we can get the information so here the projections are mobile and email so the zeroth index is mobile and the first index is email so for get the information I declare another variable string name equal to cursor dot get string at the zeroth index that is mobile number this is not name this is mobile now we have to declare another variable string email equal to cursor dot 
get string with the column index 1. So now we have to assign these values into these text views. So whenever this activity starts, we have to hide the text view. So display email dot set visibility into gone. So this will hide that particular text view. So display mobile dot set visibility into gone. Okay. Now we have to assign these two string values into the into this text views with the name display email and display mobile. Okay. First one display email display mobile. Yeah, this one display mobile dot set text. It is mobile. The second one display email dot set text email now we have to make these two text view visible so display email dot set visibility into visible now make the other text view visible so display mobile dot set visibility into visible okay now we finish the coding now we can check the application so now I am going to run this application okay now we have the application available on the virtual device first we have to check the information available on this database so click view contacts so this much of informations are available on this database so now I am going to make a search so click the back button and click search contact now here I am going to enter a name it is me that is already available in this database now click the search button here is the information corresponding to this name email address and mobile number now going to make another selection Ampili. this is also available in this database and click search here is the information corresponding to this name this is how we use a where condition with the SQLite statement in Android I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching see you in the next episode